Hi friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about types of DC motors. Let's see. Generally, the DC motors are two types. One is the separately excited DC motor and next one is the self excited DC motors we know self excited DC motors again three types that is shunt motor series motor and compound motor these are the three types here separately excited nothing but field winding excited by separate source we saw in generators shunt motor nothing but field winding in parallel to armature winding which produces field flux here series motor nothing but the field winding, series field winding in series to the armature winding which produces the series flux. Compound motor nothing but the combination of phi SH and phi SE nothing but shunt and series motors. Here these are two types. One is called Cumulative compound motor. Next one is differential compound motor. Cumulative compound motor, right? Differential compound motor. What is cumulative compound motor? The flux is the sum of the two fluxes is called cumulative compound motor. If the flux is Difference of two fluxes that is called differential compound motor and there is no extra classification on this. So DC motors are two types separately excited self excited. Here separate excited nothing but the field winding excited separately but the armature winding given by the supply source. Shent nothing but here field winding and armature windings are connected in parallel. Series nothing but the field winding and the armature windings are connected in series. But here cumulative and differential. Other than this, we have another classification also. Of course, you know that long shent and short shunt compound generators and motors. Long shunt nothing but I said you already the series winding in series 2 armature winding this combination in parallel to shunt winding that is called long shunt. We discussed in generators. But here short shunt nothing but the armature winding in parallel to shunt but this combination in series to series field winding like this we know here long shunt but here short shunt long shunt nothing but this is the shunt and this is the series and armature like this these two are in series and this is in parallel to that set and short shunt nothing but Actually, here these two are in parallel and that combination is in series to the series. Like this long shunt and short shunt we discussed earlier already in generators. This is what is this? This is the types of DC motors. Actually, in generators and motors everything is same in diagram but the current direction is different 
If the armature delivers the armature current, it is generator. If armature takes the armature current, it is motor. That is the only difference. So we have to take the diagram for each and every generator. After the diagram, current equation, voltage equation and the power equations. We have to write these three equations from the diagrams. From these equations, we have to draw the graphs. In generator, we draw OCC internal and external. But in our motors, we have to draw the curves for torque and speed. Torque with armature current, speed with armature current, and speed with the torque or torque with the speed. These are the, the graphs we have to draw for each and every motor. So simply, this is the DC motor, different types of DC motors. Of course, the applications of DC motors also important. Right? Thank you.